Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my Motor City Comic Con weekend haul. Um, this is going to be just a crazy pile of stuff that I'm going to show you uh, that comes from like all of my collections. Um, there's something in there from everything. Uh, so kind of get ready, buckle in. We got kind of a long video coming up, I think. Um, so yeah, let, let's just get into it, shall we? Um, first off, I want to thank my brothers for coming out here. Uh, Johnny, CJ, Nate, Greco. Uh, I love these weekends when we're able to get together and hang out and just have a good time. And like, I, I love you guys. You know that. Um, it's just fantastic and tragic at the same time uh it's always great for the days that you're here and then the days that you're gone just are devastating <laughs> um but I, I wouldn't trade it for anything it's always like one of the best weekends of my year and i love it and cherish it and i love you guys and thanks um first off i'm gonna i'm gonna show off what the guys gave me um we do this kind of gift exchange we don't it's not like a rule or in the in, you know we don't really do it we just find stuff throughout the year that we give each other um and it's it's cool um first cj gave me a box of cards um that i'm gonna show in a different video because it's also uh the box also contains the cards that i want from his break or bought in two for his break. I guess I didn't win them. They're, you know, it's not a contest. It's, you just opens cards. You pick three teams. He gives you the cards for those teams. Anyway, um, I'm going to show those in a different video um, because it'll take a while. Uh, next, uh, Nate found two tapes that I've been looking for forever. Um, the original Halloween and Pet Cemetery. I plan on doing a case swap with Halloween it's actually only going to be half a case swap because uh, the label is printed on the case. So uh, it'll be an orange and, and black case when I'm done with it. Uh, and then Pet Cemetery, I want to do a case swap with it, but I need to find um, a different color case that I think is acceptable for it. Um, but super stoked uh, to have these two of my all-time favorite horror movies. Um... Johnny uh, gave me a pack of cards. Uh, I ripped into them, and I don't remember what I got, and I didn't film it. So maybe I'll do, uh, I'll throw this in with the video that I'm going to do of CJ's cards uh, that he gave me. Uh, and then he gave me this super sweet Saga print, uh, one of 100. Apparently I didn't know that. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to have to find some way to display it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Um, and then he also, he knows I'm a big fan of Cerebus and he found this, uh, Cerebus number 53 graded as a 9.0. Um, not a huge graded comic, like I, I don't go looking for him, but when I find them and there's something I like, uh, I usually pick it up and he knows that and he knows that I love this book and, um, really super stoked about that. Thanks. And then Greco gave me this, uh. Al Kaline signed picture. He saw um, my video of like the biggest regret in in our collecting that I did, um, and it was about how I left an Al Kaline picture at my old house when we moved out, and I forgot it there. Uh, so he he bought this for me. He ordered it and it showed up on like Monday, I think, at the door. I was like, oh, I got a package, and I didn't. I. I didn't know it was from him, and I opened it up. I was like, who the hell sent me an Al Kaline signed picture? Uh, and when I opened it up, he was, he was like, taking pictures or filming it. And uh, I was like, oh, did you send this to me? And yeah, so thanks, Greco. Um, I'm going to hit my head on this all video long. Uh, so Comic-Con, the big, the big thing, I guess, was um, getting books signed for me. Um, I didn't really go, I didn't have any focus as far as picking up any books or even looking for any books. I just kind of 
wanted to meet some creators and I did. So I uh, got Thor um, signed here by Isad Ribic. He was kind of busy, so he just real quick did it. Um, yeah, so that's signed. Um, oh man, I forgot. I had Tim Seeley sign the 10 copies of Revival I had. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, he signed all of them with no problem. He just, I, I went up and I asked him, I was like, I have the 10 Phantom variants of, of the first issues. Would you mind signing them all? He was like, no problem. And he just started whipping them out. And he was super cool. Um, next, uh, we met Katie Cook. We always meet Katie Cook. She's local here. She's fantastic. She did this variant cover for Helheim. Signed at the top there. I also got some other stuff from her that I'm going to show off in a minute. Um, but yeah, she's, she's awesome. She really is. And then we got Sean Murphy, uh, to sign this punk rock Jesus. Number one, he was awesome. If you get the chance to meet him, it, it was a phenomenal experience. He was super cool. He talked, he spent time. Um, I didn't think he was going to do like a little sketch there on the side, but like once you get him talking, he's just doing it. And it was it was awesome. He was super cool. Um, he took a picture with us. Um, I have some other pictures throughout the weekend that I think I'm going to put on the end of this video. So if you're interested in seeing those, uh, stick around. Um, and then lastly, the always the best uh, signatures we get through the weekend is our program. Uh, we sign it for each other. Um, just little sayings on it or things from the weekend and... Um, it's awesome. So very, very cool. Um, as far as <clears throat> other stuff I got from Comic-Con, um, <laughs> I found this Dungeon Master's Guide from 79 that I picked up. Um, I saw it early on in the day at one of the vendors we stopped by and I had In the Garage by Weezer stuck in my head for the rest of the day. And I think this was the last stop we went to. And I was like, screw it. I'm just going to buy it. Um, I can't remember how much it was for. I, th I think it might have been listed at... He might have priced it at 20 bucks, And I asked him for 15 And he dropped it down to 17 or something like that. Um, but worth it. I'm stoked. Um, inside it, actually, um, somebody has like their dungeon they were drawing up and their character they were drawing up um so that's that kind of sold me on it too it was pretty neat um just to see somebody else's stuff they were making on it so stoked about that um okay so let's see what we got i got um i usually go and when we go to comic-con i get my son some stuff um so this year uh, we went and saw the Shazam movie, and he absolutely loved it. So, I got a a sketch of Shazam by I can't even remember the artist's name. I think it was a local guy. Um, but when I was looking, at it, I was like, "Oh man, that could kind of be like you think that it doesn't really distinctly say Shazam on it." So, I also bought this. This is the one comic I bought at Comic Con. Uh, the Shazam book that I'm going to make a uh, kind of a collage decoupage frame for my son. Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, I have some sketches that I got by some artists and cut up a comic book and pasted it on the frame on the mat here. Uh, and it looks really awesome. And I know it's kind of sacrilege I guess um to do so but I like it it looks good um and I'm sure there's a ton of those 
the Power of Shazam issue two is out there. I saw a couple actually, so uh, and it was fifty cents. So get off my back. Uh, <laughs> also picked up this Audrey two like uh, print um, from another artist that we met, uh, Greg Schmidt. Um, I have some other stuff by him that I'll show you shortly. But uh, super cool guy. Um, Lucas loved Little Shop of Horrors, so um, I knew he'd like that. Um, and speaking of Greg Schmidt, I had picked up some more prints from him. Prints, prints. Uh, so Leatherface, Michael Myers, Jason, and Freddy Krueger. Um, big horror fan, and uh, those were awesome. I don't remember how much we picked them up for, but uh, he was super cool. Um, really cool. He was wearing a Descendant shirt, so we got talking about music. Uh, this is his card. Um, uh, yeah, so super, super cool guy. I also picked up, uh, two, uh, he did, like, these little wallet size sketches that he had in a binder. Um, I forget what the price was, but, uh, Green Arrow and Green Lantern. And I'll get little frames for him or frame them together. And put them up because uh, they go together. Uh, so Katie Cook, I showed you that book she signed earlier. I went to her and she does these ten dollar uh, watercolor sketches that are just fantastic. She's great, um, and she did a John Constantine for me. Just as <laughs> she said, it's just a guy in a trench coat smoking. Um, and then I asked her for Swamp Thing, and she gave me this, which is more Man Thing. Um, I was going to put those two together, but I'm going to keep them separate now. And instead, I went back to her and got a Zatanna done. And that'll go with the John Constantine. Um, I love it. It's fantastic. And then lastly, as far as artists and actual Comic-Con go, um, I stopped by uh, Audra Olivia. She does some great stuff. This is something like I kind of always wanted to do myself, but never took the plunge. Um, she does these really cool um, paintings over top of like flea market paintings. So you can see the, the actual painting in the background, uh, the, the pretty house and the flowers. And then she just throws Jason on top of it. And I loved it. Uh, so there's that. Uh, we have Leatherface. And then we have Michael Myers. So pretty pretty sweet. I, I really enjoyed looking at her stuff and then picking those up from her. Uh, she was super nice too. We just got to talking about painting um, and like kind of her process and how she does it. And she had some other really great paintings that were more on the sacrilegious side that I thought maybe not hang up on, in my house where my super religious mother and... The rest of my family would show up and see. So um, I skipped out on, on getting any of those. Uh, next. Uh, so that was Friday. I'll try to do it by days. Friday. Um, Saturday, we went to a card show. Um, sorry, I'll step out of frame for a second. Oh, we went to a card show. And I picked up some stuff. Uh, went there, yeah, Saturday, thinking that uh, Frank Tanana was going to be there and I was going to get him to sign a ball and a card. Um, turns out he was not there Saturday. He was going to be there Sunday. So instead, we dug through some, some cards and I found some stuff. And so I picked up these, I picked up a few boxes, OBG uh, 92. Um, uh, don't know much about OPG. Uh, it was cheap and it'll be fun to rip. And I think it's Canadian based, uh, from what I understand. And, uh, that'll be fun. Why not? Uh, then I picked up these Don Russ, uh, 94, uh, looking for this Cecil Fielder card right, right there. Um, I don't know. They look cool. Why not? And then also picked up the Skybox 
9091 season uh, NBA cards because uh, they look rad and they're like my era of basketball. So uh, as far as individual cards that I found there, I picked up this super sweet Dylan Larkin. You can see like you can see me through it. Um, just it's super awesome and I'm actually going to meet him next weekend. Um, I was going to have him sign this, but then I got to talking to the guys and they're like, the signature on that's not going to stick. It's going to kind of smear. Uh, so I have something in the mail coming. Uh, you'll probably see before next weekend. I don't know. You'll probably see next weekend because it's just a card. But it's, okay, it's the paper card version of this um, that I'm going to get him to sign. But this is super cool. Uh, really dig that. Um, I also picked up a pack or not a pack but uh team set of the 84 tigers um including the checklist uh with uh with sparky anderson on it that's uh i guess it's missing in some of the sets i don't know i dig it cool um and then i picked up a bunch of ty cobb cards i don't know why i was just searching um through the boxes and every Ty Cobb card that came up I loved and I was like eh, I'm just gonna get it and I think they were like not even 50 cents a piece um, so yeah and then I got a couple Al Kaline cards and an Al Kaline uh, bat relic card and I got a Lou Whitaker rookie card a Kurt Gibson rookie card. Justin Verlander rookie card. A triple patch card of Verlander, uh, Jeremy Bonderman, and Pudge Rodriguez, I think. Yeah, Pudge. Pretty sweet. I don't have any triple patch cards, and this one is uh, pretty awesome. Numbered 38 out of 50. Then... Found this Casey Mize Chrome Bowman first. Um, great prospect for us. I can't wait for him to be called up. And then lastly, um, probably not the greatest signature. It is on card. It, it is visible. Um, but I've been looking for this for a while. And it is a Sparky Anderson auto. You can kind of see it right there you can see it most in his hand and in his jersey and up um i'm gonna look to upgrade this signature but i found it there and i wasn't letting go a uh, huge sparky anderson fan um as a manager i think he's the best we've had um but yeah so um next for saturday uh after the show it was really a small smaller show um but we didn't have anything to do afterwards. So we were talking about it earlier on in the weekend and we decided to go check out a Tigers game. Um, CJ had been to one before with me a few years back. Nate, of course, has gone to uh, Comerica Park before. I don't think Greco had. So uh, we all just decided to go and it happened to be um, photo on the field day. So CJ and I went down and got a couple pictures with some Tigers players and I'm gonna try to put those at the end of this video too uh, it was a great experience it was super fun really enjoyed ourselves um, we ended up losing that game uh, which sucked but um, the A's were they just had our number they they beat the crap out of us all four games uh, it wasn't a 17 to 3 loss though so thank goodness uh, <laughs> I'm um, trying to remember what we did the next day, Sunday. So Sunday, we ended up going back to the card show because Frank Tanana was there. I also uh, picked up something because I forgot it when we were there and I didn't get it at the game because it would have been way more expensive. Uh, but every year I pick up this um, Tigers team set for the year. Uh, so yeah, 2019 team set. Um, and then we met Frank Tanana, or I met Frank Tanana, the guys were, were doing more 
uh, shopping really. Um, and I had him, uh, he gave us these little sheets of paper as certificates of authenticity. I don't know if that's a normal thing that they do, but, um, so I got him to sign this card and sign a sweet spot on my ball. So this is the first signed baseball I have. Um, it's the first of many that's going to be over here in my collection um, as I start that part of my sports memorabilia collection. I'm stoked about Um I think... Actually, I think Sunday... I don't remember. This part is all kind of lost in my mind because we just ended up doing a whole bunch of shopping at flea markets and Second and Charles and Salvation Armies. Um, so I'm just going to go and show you different stuff. I don't remember what day. I don't remember what place I got it from. I just know I got them. So first up, I picked up a couple CDs. Uh, actually, I do know where we got these. This was Dixieland Flea Market. It was three for two bucks. So for the Fallen Dreams, uh, Wasted Youth. Adestria. This is Chapters. And then under oath, uh, they're only chasing safety. This is like the special edition, I guess. Um, but it doesn't have the DVD. That's okay. It's got the bonus tracks on it. Um, we'll go with these VHS tapes I got next, I guess. Uh, Dogma. Huck Finn. Um, the Disney version live action. I loved it as a kid, and I kind of want to show my son. Uh, so, excited about that. We got Jeff Goldblum in the fly. Uh, Les Mis. Haven't ever seen it. Crap. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I, I kind of am a fan of musicals. And that's one that I've been told that I might like. Uh, next, Mallrats. I think I'm going to change this out to, like, a green case. Uh... Yeah, it's got the sticker label, so I can change the whole thing out. I might change that to green to match the uh, Mallrats uh, writing up there, title writing. Um, super stoked to come across this, Howard the Duck. Um, actually, I remember I found this at uh, Dixieland Flea Market. I think it was Friday night we went I found that, so stoked about that. Footloose, because I don't have it yet. Uh, Meaning of Life, Monty Python. Uh, huge Monty Python fan. Love that movie. The Hitcher. And then the original uh, slip case of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This one I actually paid like two bucks for, I think, because of the case. Um, I got another stack too. <laughs> so we got Manhunter. Uh, like the prequel to uh, uh, Silence of the Lambs. Goodwill Hunting. Uh, I love the movie, but the soundtrack is, is where it's at. I, Elliot Smith, um, one of my favorite artists of all time, um, did Miss Misery for this movie and actually got nominated for a Grammy for it and should have won, but he, he didn't. And I'm bummed about that. I didn't realize I picked up a second copy of Mole Rats. Uh, that happens. So second copy. Why not? Um, My Girl. Natural Born Killers. That was the receipt. Natural Born Killers. Maximum Risk. The Client. Loved that movie when I was younger. And Slacker. Um, yep. And then I picked up a DVD of Extract. Uh, it's from the guys who did Office Space. And I don't think I ever heard of it or, no, I heard of it. I don't, I don't think I ever watched it. So pretty cool. Uh, next, uh, we'll go with stuff from Second and Charles. I got more comics from Second and Charles than I did Comic-Con. Um, first, uh, details, uh, Fabio Moon and Gabriel Ba, this Gabriel Ba, sorry, um, I don't know when this dates back to, but I 
think it's one of their first books. I Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know I haven't read it, so I'm pretty excited to have that. I picked up a couple issues of Postal, so 20. And 23, I'm down to just needing uh, number 9 to complete that. I did find this to complete this series in singles pretty deadly. This is issue 2, now I'm done with it. Pretty stoked. And then um, Nate found these super awesome Judge Dredd magazines. Um, I think he just he only picked up one, but I found uh, 32. 33, you can see on the bottom. They're from uh, July and August. When is... I don't know what the date is, what, like what year it is, but... I don't care. They're pretty sweet. And uh, this is my favorite cover, uh, 33. Uh, there's still a few more there that if I enjoy looking through these, um, I'll go back and pick up some more. Um, next, uh, also a second of Charles, I found this Anti-Flag Acoustic um, live performance album. Um, I believe the vinyl is clear on it. And it still has the digital download code, so I can put it on my phone. Yeah, clear. Pretty awesome. Uh, it does smell a bit like cigarettes, but that's all right. Uh, and then I didn't really buy these anywhere. Um, they were shipped to me. Uh, I got one on eBay and the other two were uh, a pre-order but they came this weekend so it's part of the the Motor City Comic Con weekend haul. <laughs> um, Defeater, this is Letters Home. Uh, I think this is my favorite Defeater album and it's all three of these are blue vinyl so that's pretty neat um, and then the new self-titled Defeater album and then with the self-titled Defeater album I got this little uh, free seven inch um, was still and true and let me down from their previous record. And then lastly, I have um, some stuff that I come across very rarely, and they were all at Dixieland Flea Market. And not for terrible prices, this one probably the best price. Uh, Eagle Moss figure of the Creeper. I got this one for five bucks. Um, pretty awesome, still sealed in the plastic. Uh, not open, but I, of course, will be opening it uh, because I put it on display up on my shelf. And then these two I got for $15 apiece um, from a different guy, but I couldn't let them just stay in there, so I got the Riddler. Uh, also completely sealed, not opened, uh, so still has this cane there intact. And uh, my favorite Batman villain, uh, Scarecrow, and still has this scythe there. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty stoked. Uh, and that's it. That's, that's everything from the weekend. Um, again, fantastic time. Um, again, thank you, CJ, Nate, Greco, and Johnny for coming out. Um, it, the best times of the weekend aren't necessarily the shopping times. It's more just the hanging out and talking and and just kind of bonding, I guess. Um, it's it's just great to have them in my life, and I love them so. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way through, thank you. Um, I'm gonna have some pictures on the end of this video. Um, Thanks. See you later. Bye.